three, two, one. Which structure in a green plant controls the opening and closing of stomata? The options are xylem, gourd cell, phloem, and rhizobium. Your time starts now. Time's up. The answer for this question is option number two, which is God cell. Explanation: God cells regulate the opening and closing of stomata. Chlorophyll is found in oval shaped structures called as the options are chloroplast, stomata, xylem, and mouth. Your time starts now. Time's up. The answer for this question is option number one, which is chloroplast. Explanation The cells of green leaves have some special organelles called chloroplast, which contains a green pigment called chlorophyll. Which is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms? The options are iron, moon, plants and sun. Your time starts now. The answer for this question is option number 4 which is sun. Explanation Sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms. Plants make their own food by the process of options of respiration, photosynthesis, digestion and at last transpiration. The time starts now. The answer for this question is option number two, which is photosynthesis. Explanation The process by which green plants make their own food from simple inorganic raw materials like carbon dioxide and water with the help of chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight is called photosynthesis. Which of the following is parasitic plants? The options are cascuta, venus flytrap, maize plant and at last sundew. The time starts now. The answer for this question is option number one, which is cascuta. Explanation Cascuta is a leafless and rootless. Parasitic plant.
The small pores present on the leaves are called dash. The options are stomata, lens, rhizobium, and at last epidermis. Your time starts now. The answer for this question is option number one, which is tomato. Explanation: Exchange of gases takes place to tiny pores called tomato. Components of food are called dash. The options are nutrition, enzymes, host, and at last veins. The time starts now. The answer for this question is option number one, which is nutrition. Explanation: Various components of food called nutrition are proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, water, and carbohydrates. Organisms that live and derive food from others are called dash. The options are autotrophs, herbivores, insectivores, and at last parasite. Your time starts now. The answer for this question is option number one, which is parasite. Explanation: Parasites are the organisms that live on the body of another living organisms called hosts and derive nutrition from them. Parasitic plants develop some special root-like structures called dash. The options are Hostoria, yeast, xylem, and mycorrhiza. Your time starts now. The answer for this question is option number one, which is Astoria. Explanation: Parasitic plants develop some special root-like structures called Astoria, which penetrate into the host tissue and take the nutrients from the stems of the host. Which bacteria converts atmospheric nitrogen into soluble form? The options are Lactobacillus, Rhizobium, Spirillum, and at last bread mold. The time starts now. The answer for this question is option number two, which is rhizobium. Explanation: Rhizobium bacteria converts atmospheric nitrogen into soluble nitrogenous compounds called nitrates and nitrates. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe.